Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 105. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 101 to 106. Hey, in this Magic Trick, we're going to see how to um, take two columns of data, and we want to extract only the unique records. We want to compare all of the um, each one of these values to see if it's in this column. If it is not, we want to extract it. You can see this is the number one. It's also somewhere in this column. We are not going to extract that one. Number four, it is not in this column, so we want to extract that. We're going to use advanced filter to do this, but we got to think up a true false formula. Let's just see if we can do one for this column and then this column. I'm going to click in this cell right here. And remember when we do advanced things like conditional formatting, advanced filter, data validation, these true false formulas are stored in memory but it's as if they were copied down throughout the sheet so sometimes when you do a complicated one like this it's helpful to copy it here and see how it works and then go do it in advanced filter all right so we're going to say equals count if the range is going to be this whole range right here locked i'm going to hit the f4 key comma this one now see as we copy this down it'll compare each one of these and say uh, how many are they in this column? We want to uh, close parentheses, and since we want a true-false, what do we want? One, there's one here, so that would count one, right? But that's not what we want. We want to find this four only when there's no fours here. So guess what? Count if would have to equal zero, so equals zero. That's the true-false that'll work all the way down. Drag it all the way down. And so you see there's a true true that 4 and 12 are not in this column. We could similarly do the same thing for this column. I'm going to highlight the whole column. And in the active cell at the top, I'm going to say equals count if. This whole range here, that first column, f4, comma, this, relative cell reference, close parentheses, equals 0. And then control enter to populate all the cells because I highlighted them up oh. front. You can see there's only one there. It's a 2. 2 is not in this column. So let's go ahead and see if we can um, click in this cell and hit F2. And I'm going to scoop all of this out. Control C and then Escape. I'm going to paste it up here because for advanced filter, when you have a true false, you need to put it in a cell and have a blank cell above. So I'm going to click in this cell and Control V. And it's just the top one, because remember, it'll, it'll take this formula and in memory copy it down. I'm going to click right here, hit F2 to put it in edit mode, highlight that whole range, Control C, Escape, click in this cell, and Control V. Now I'm going to have to run this twice, uh, advanced filter twice. I'm going to highlight this column here with the uh, field name at the top. I'm going to go to Data, and then Advanced Filter. In 2003, you go to the Data menu, uh, Filter, and then Advanced Filter. Now, I want to copy this to another location. That got the correct list range there. There is no criteria range because we want, um, oh, I'm sorry, there is a, a, a criteria range. It's right here, if I can only backspace on what I said there. And it's the blank cell and the true-false formula for that whole column. And we want to copy it to. I'm going to click right there. And then I'm going to say click in H11. Click OK. So we got that. And, and again, I did a small uh, set of values here. But this could be huge, and it would do it just fine. Now we're going to do uh, Advanced Filter again. But we're going to do it on this column here. Go ahead, back to Advanced Filter. It remembers. It actually stores uh, a name in memory called uh, I forget what it is, range, and this one's criteria. So it remembers that. So if you're going to do it on a different section, you have to start over. I'm going to, with that highlighted, highlight all of that instead. The criteria range, I'm going to highlight that and highlight this new one. Copy to another location. And I don't want it in H11 at all. I'm going to delete that and click right there. Now it'll bring the field name out, um, and you have to. It, have a field name in this advanced filter, or it may do uh, the incorrect extract. But I'm going to click OK. And then I'm simply going to uh, delete this right here. Uh, I could actually just highlight this cell and point to the edge. And when I see that cursor, I could uh, click and drag. And then it says, do you want to replace the contents? I'm going to say OK. And there you go. That's how to uh, get a, uh, a, 
only the unique values that are not here and only the unique values that are not in this first column. All right, we'll see you next trick.